Hello again, a new day, a new project. My uh, trusty, beloved IMAX finally gave up. So uh, when I was trying to fix uh, a couple of Bosch drill batteries, I realized something very strange. When I was trying to charge a normal nickel cadmium or a nickel metal hydride cell, the charging was reported faulty. I mean, uh, let's say this, uh, this cell over here, it's fully discharged. I mean, really fully discharged. 0 0.1 volts or something. So, that's supposed now to get more than one amp, 1000 milliamps for charging. But my Amex was charging like 50 amps and suddenly reported full charge. So obviously it was something wrong over here. In the meantime I said uh, let's check it out. So I was lucky enough to have another board from uh, almost a similar model of IMAX and I used some of the parts from this board. As you see over there the CPU was blown up and I checked this one and I found what was happening. First of all, here is uh, an operational circuit. This one it's dealing with the voltages outside, inside, anyway the charging voltages and uh, I found out this one was misreporting voltages in this area. This is the output. Okay, so luckily I had some circuits like that. So I changed this operational circuit over here. It's LM2904. Afterwards, I took out the original MOSFET. It's an N channel MOSFET over here. It's a uh, 4150 so is this kind of small MOSFET and I was connected another N MOSFET a little bit bigger like power a little bit stronger afterwards as long as I had some parts from uh, another original Sky RC IMAX I also changed this LM324 uh, and I changed also this operational and is that similar with this one it's 2904 and after all these changings I think the job is done and look here now I'm charging this full empty uh, nickel metal hydride cell and we already have 173 milliamps in and the machine is working as yes, it should it's not reporting full charge like I said before in uh, five minutes it was reporting full charge already so I think the problem was the problem the number one problem here was this operational circuit I mean uh, it doesn't really compare in a proper way the voltages in and out. Now it's working, so I'm still testing to see what's happening. So uh, that's a kind of advice I may say. If you have an early full charged report but in the cell you only have like 50 milliamps, 100 milliamps and it was working for a couple of minutes be sure that it's something wrong with this one so you have to start replacing this uh, LM2908 it's an operational circuit I'll let you uh, I'll, I'll show you the characteristics and also it's a good idea to have a better MOSFET. This is an N MOSFET 
for the output this is for the charging the other one for this charging it's an I think it's IRF Z44 044 it's down there so I got nothing to do with that because it's working properly so we are back after uh, almost uh, 82 minutes all I can say that uh, this little uh, nickel uh, metal hydride rechargeable battery is taking 649 milliamps and so far I may say the IMAX is working perfect it's exactly what I, I was looking for and now I'm gonna put the things back together in the case and uh, I'm gonna restart checking all uh, the nickel cadmium accumulators nickel cadmium rechargeable batteries I have been in, uh, in plan for fixing some drill batteries okay so thank you for now if you have any question please comment don't forget to subscribe and uh, push like of course in the meantime have fun and be safe bye bye